Hey everyone, Kyler here. Welcome to Fishing After Five. It's February, it's wet, it's cold, I'm bored. Let's paint another baitcaster. So if you follow my channel and you've seen that last video, I painted this. This is a baitcaster I got for $13 from Amazon. It's very cheap. I changed out the handle and I... Oops. <laughs> changed out the handle and painted it in a lacquer. Uh, it's purple lacquer. It's purple and black. Uh, I might turn it to purple altogether uh, in the future, but I'm not gonna do that today. Because today I have this. Another $13 baitcaster that I got from Amazon. Sadly, they don't sell these anymore. And also this one's left-handed, so I'm not gonna be using exactly this. However, I'm gonna be taking it apart, painting it a random color. Now, what color am I gonna paint this? Alexa, give me a random color. Vermilion is a random color. Vermilion? Alexa, give me another random color. Viridian is a random color. Stop! Alexa, give me another random color. Buff is a random color. Buff? Alexa. Random color. Goldenrod is a random color. Goldenrod. So me being not cultured, what the hell does goldenrod look like? It's a, it's a gold color. It's a bronzy, bronzy gold. Let's paint it bronzy gold. Of course, since we've done this once already, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing of taking it apart, what tools to use, so on. Watch my last video, which I'll link the, there. There? That video is going to tell you, I hope I'm I hope I'm in the right spot. That video is going to tell you everything you need to know about painting a baitcaster. This time, however, might not use lacquer and use enamel. Might not even use clear coat. I don't know, let's get crazy. Okay, see ya. So after all that disassembly, this is what we have. We have the left portion, uh, the right portion, drag star, there it is, and the actual body. Now, what we're going to do next, uh, let's get that in focus, there we go. What we're going to do next is sand it. We're going to use 400 grit sandpaper. We've got 400 and 600 for the light stuff, but 400 grit's fine. So keep one thing in mind, the inside parts right here, and right here, we are not painting those. We're also not sanding them. We are going to tape them up and we're going to tape them up real good because we don't want to mess with any of the parts that need to move freely. Okay, just so we're clear, don't paint those. No, 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 no. All right, now that they are all scuffed, and yes, I just scuffed them, not really aiming to uh, <laughs> sand the whole thing down to nubs, but the paint has been scuffed entirely. I'm going to tape them up and make them ready for painting. If you want to see a more detailed description of how to do this and what to use, check out the last video. I'll have the link in the description. Now that we're all sanded and taped, let's take it out and let's throw some primer on it. Using enamel primer, just like we did last time. So here I'm just throwing down one nice thin layer of primer. Just a little bit goes a long way. Since it's late at night, I'm gonna leave it, continue this in the morning. Good night, everybody. Good morning, partner. Hey, you ready to finish painting this baitcaster? Oh, yeah. Good morning. We let the primer sit overnight and picked out our colors. One second, I'll get them for you. We're going with Goldenrod. This is a bronze one coat lacquer. And then we've got black one coat lacquer. Let's see how this goes.
Okay, so we have them set up. Really, this should go without saying, but make sure you separate the pieces that you're going to paint a separate color. We're gonna use this one coat of one coat lacquer. Light coat, of course. You know we don't do anything heavy. Here's hoping it looks good. Gonna let it sit for quite a while, so go do something else, like watch the newest episode of Dragon Ball Super, which I'm gonna do. So now that I have all the pieces together, I'm not so crazy about the color. Let's go ahead and put it back together, and let's see. Who knows, it might grow on us. Currently about midnight, this is my Wolverine robe. I hope you like it, I'm not changing. I am finally done with this bait caster. Now, I was not the biggest fan of the color when it first came out. Of course, I didn't have anything true goldenrod, but I did have a bronzy gold, which I thought would work. So that's what I went with. So just to be clear, here's the before version. It's a orange bait caster. Uh, this is not the same one. As I said, this is a left-handed bait caster. I'm probably gonna give this one to Nikki. And here is the after. Bam! That's upside down. Bam! <laughs> Look at that. That's sick. I'm trying to see it in the monitor to make sure you guys can even see it. Wow. Awesome. Worked out. It worked out pretty well. So as always, I want to leave you with this warning. When you paint something, no matter how thin the paint layer is, you're changing something about the item itself. So don't go with your Daiwa Fuego or your Shimano Kanan and just painting it all sorts of colors. I wouldn't do that on any expensive reel. These $13 reels from Amazon though, if they didn't stop selling them, I'd be uh, painting all of them. Speaking of that, I gotta find another supplier of cheap bait casters. But if you wanna know more about how I did this, how I took it apart, the materials I used, see the other video that I made on this subject about how to paint bait casters. I'll leave it there, right? Yeah, hopefully there. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. Leave a comment if you do. Let me know what else you like to see and I'll start doing that. Starting to warm up. I've been going fishing a lot more. Episode 20 is coming and it is special. So until next time, stay weird guys and I will see you next time after five. Good night everyone.